think about someone in the Bible, someone that was righteous. You may say Abraham, Moses, Ezekiel, Isaiah, I believe they were righteous. You may say Samuel. Let's take Abraham. Okay. Let's say Abraham is the king of the world. Okay. And let's say the majority of the people in the world is rebelling against the authority of Abraham and against God. Okay. Are you telling me because of God? I mean, because of Abraham, God is not going to punish the majority of the world. Are you telling me because of Abraham, did I say judge already or punish? Okay. Are you telling me that God won't judge or punish the majority of the world because of Abraham? Are, are you telling me that? Now, this kind of goes down with voting. Some people may say every Christian should vote for President Trump or whatever else. I think so many people, as it seems, I think so many people have so much faith in President Trump than in Jesus Christ. And I find that disturbing if that is the case. I believe the root issue is not so much who the leader is, not so much who the president is, not so much about those things, but how the people are. I believe there are some people holding up signs or held up signs of Trump, Biden, or whomever. If many people are sinning against God, like you can put Abraham in, you can put Moses in, you can put Ezekiel, Isaiah, who else? Jeremiah or whoever you want to be the leader, won't the world be judged because of disobedience? Why place so much effort and whatever else trying to, I guess I can say, promote a leader? which makes no sense. Trying to get people to vote for someone, why not use that energy to get people to serve God because I believe that is the root issue. Makes no sense. It really doesn't make any sense. If the problem was just as simple as choosing the right leader or president, I believe this world should have changed long ago, I guess, right? 
But the answer is not that. Right? I believe the answer is getting people to live for Jesus Christ, right? Like, you need to vote, you need to vote, you need to vote, why? You can vote for the Archangel Gabriel, if you could. If you are choosing to disobey him <laughs> and disobey God, won't you get punished anyway? No matter who you vote for, I believe bad things are coming if people aren't willing to change. And hopefully, and I think too, I think in some way or fashion, the righteous is going to be affected in some type of way. I truly believe so. I hope this makes sense. I think some people are willing to die for President Trump makes no sense. Why won't you be willing? Are you willing? Are you willing to die for Jesus Christ? Why are you willing to die for a man? No leader can save you, per se. I believe Jesus Christ can. Like, march up and down the road telling people or holding up signs or whatever about Jesus Christ. Why have these Biden, Biden and Trump hats or if there are Biden hats, I don't know, shirts and stuff like that, if they are those, why put them on? Do you understand what I am saying to you? Like, I think people are getting into fights over humans, as in who do you should vote for? I am not going to vote. What I am going to do and continue to do, I am going to pray for the world. I am going to pray for people. Well, the world and people may be the same. I may even fast about what is going on, including with my issues as well. I think those things are much more effective, right? Right? Why dig a six foot hole, then put the dirt back in it? Like why place, why do things in vain? Let me stop here. God bless you.